You found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Today I'm making Southern Fried Catfish. Now this recipe will work great on catfish, crappie, speckled trout, flounder, snapper, just about any fish that you choose to fry. You're gonna love this recipe. For our ingredients, we're gonna need milk, Louisiana hot sauce or the hot sauce of your choice, yellow cornmeal, Tony Sashery's Original Creole Seasoning, garlic powder, fresh fish fillets. First thing you want to do is soak those fish fillets in the milk or buttermilk and let it soak overnight. When you get ready to start your preparations, then cut up the fillets into smaller pieces that are suitable for frying. Cut them up the size that you like. Generously add that Louisiana hot sauce to the fish and keep in mind that this is adding flavor. It does not make it taste hot. You'll have to trust me on this one. Season up that cornmeal. For every one cup of cornmeal, add two teaspoons of the Tony Sachery's Original Creole Seasoning Mix, and then add in one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now this is the starting point for your seasoning. My wife doesn't like salty or spicy, but she's okay with this ratio. So this is a baseline. Another way to do it is to add the Tony's to your cornmeal and then give it a taste. Add as much as you like. Now add in the garlic powder and give it a taste. Season it to your taste. I'm frying my catfish in my Dutch oven. So add enough cooking oil that your fish will have room to float. Fry at 375 degrees and I'm using my Cajun Flip and Fry to transfer the seasoned cornmeal to the fish. So this is like a bread or batter bowl. It works great. Fry until it's golden brown in color. Doesn't hurt to turn the pieces over as they fry. And keep in mind smaller pieces will cook the fastest. Large fast bubbles mean the fish is still cooking. And as the bubbles just start to diminish, well then it's probably getting done. This is an outstanding recipe for frying your fish. Enjoy, cause they're gonna taste great. Hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.